The Our Coast project looks at safeguarding coastal energy generation and supply. We're interested in the energy sector because a lot of its infrastructure is on the coast. The Arcos project is focusing on risks to the energy sector from climate change and in that context predominantly from future sea level rise and from extreme events such as storms. The reason or the way in which we contribute is predominantly to look at the flood risk to that energy infrastructure now and in the future but also changes in the coastal environment over the longer term, changes that arise through patterns of sedimentation or through patterns of coastal erosion. The northwest of England and Wales is actually a really important area for the Arcos project because there is a concentration of nuclear licensed sites um, and they include um, the nuclear fuel manufacture, nuclear fuel enrichment, uh, there are nuclear power stations and there's also the, at Sellafield the nuclear reprocessing plant which actually can extract the uranium from uh, previous fuel in reactors that can then be used in future reactors um, as new fuel. As part of the process to actually regulate a nuclear site, the Environment Agency is involved in talking to a number of different people and organisations that may be impacted by the radioactive releases. It's really integral that we know what the future cost of uh, sea level rise and flooding is because we need to know, plan for the long term. We as uh, people tend to only think in the short term, but climate change, sea level rise and energy supply are all long term issues. There's loads of costs associated with flooding and repair. What I'm particularly interested in is the impacts on individuals, the people that live in the area, the people that are relying on electricity for their everyday um, activities. Coastal monitoring is very important because you have to understand how coastlines behave in order to manage them and monitoring provides that information. We monitor the beach before the storm hits and then we make measurements during the storm and then we measure the beach after the storm. So we basically have a good idea of how the storm has changed the beach. Coastal models are the only tool available which we can use to look at future scenarios. The model that I have applied is called FBCOM, which is the University of Massachusetts Finite Volume Coastal Ocean Model. The important outputs for stakeholders and decision makers will be information about erosion, coastal erosion, coastal flooding, and how this, the movements of water masses are happening. In addition to progressing scientific understanding of coastal processes, Arcos aims to inform society and industry of potential changes in the future. There is an ongoing Ukraine new bay program in the UK. There are at the moment three constructions in, in some phase and there are future plans to build more. The role of nuclear power in the future energy mix isn't just a question of advancement of nuclear technology or environmental processes on the coast, but also a question of public attitudes, how this country is governed. It's a question of changing uh, markets, electricity markets and business models. The focus of my work is how people value the electricity supply. In order for people to make choices about willingness to pay, we use what's called a choice experiment. We found some interesting differences between younger people, say in their 20s and 30s, and the older people in how prepared they are for a power cut. My role in National Grid is twofold. The first part is actually looking after the current projected natural hazard risks and the second part is looking at what potentially could be a risk in the future. The principal concern to the energy sector is flooding obviously. Our substations by design are typically on the areas which are defended. Um, however, there are secondary concerns around the routes to and from those sites. That's both for the power flow and for access. I'm responsible for the defences from the Blackpool boundary to Fleetwood, which is about 6.8 6 kilometres of defences. One of the biggest problems that we have is trying to get people to understand what the risks are and actually taking decisions based on sound scientific evidence. The Arcos Decision Support Tool provides us a really useful way of communicating what's going to happen in the future. 
Within Arcos, many master's students have had the opportunity to develop research projects to provide beneficial information for the energy industry. Many of the world's largest cities are, are located in estuarine environments, so we need a knowledge of sediment transport pathways to better maintain these areas. I've been working with an ocean circulation model. I've been able to explore different particle pathways from the Rivel and Ravenglass estuary. With my results, I hope to possibly identify different areas of deposition or erosion in response to sea level rise. Future energy demand will alter with climate change, as will the way in which energy is generated. So future energy infrastructure will need to be clean, green and innovative. The aim of the project is to assess flood risk after the implementation of a tidal lagoon in coastal areas. The project is using coastal simulations using a model called List Flood to look at the change in depth and extent of flooding. There's a need for an energy connection across Morecambe Bay because um, of the new nuclear power station being built in West Cumbria. The aim of my research is to examine and identify the potential vulnerability of the tunnel opening sites um, to coastal inundation up to 2500. One of the first things that we discovered at the start of the Arcos project was the fact that our current nuclear energy infrastructure was put in the right place. Part of our research methodology has been to monitor what happens to the beaches fronting current nuclear infrastructure and also where future nuclear new build will be. It's been very hard to find periods of time during the project so far where we've seen significant threats posed to those sites. The main product of Arcos is a decision support system. That decision support system uses the maps of flood risk that we've obtained and it enables them to be accessed by a non-specialist user.